everyone. Uh, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, you're all here probably because um, NVIDIA has deprecated their launcher. But uh, regardless, there is a good path forward via their GitHub. So uh, these are some of the prerequisites you'll need, which are a uh, Windows machine, with the NVIDIA RTX graphics card, the Git for Windows, installing your desktop, and also a code editor like uh, Visual Studio or Notepad, and uh, a little bit of the blow. And I think um, Samuel L. Jackson says it pretty well in the next uh, next clip here. But let's get into it. Hold on to your butts. All right. So C drive, new folder. I am pedaling the Omniverse. Go. Highlight the folder, type the letters CMD, enter. Uh, the command prompt box appear. The next step is you want to go ahead and clone the repository. So I'll paste that right here. Enter. Now that's done. I'm going to want to go ahead and as you can see, it's built that right here get into the directory, so into here, type that in, run the creation wizard, start the wizard by typing this in, and now it's asking you if you want to accept the governor terms, you can use the arrow keys up or down, yes, I do, application, yes, USD composer, which is what I want for my uh, stuff, you can have a couple other options here as well, but USD composer is for me, say, Gideon, Composer, uh, display name, yep, that's fine. Yep, and you have a setup extension, so it looks like we have to create a name. Omni, you can hit enter, I believe, on this one, that's fine. Uh, application layers, you can hit yes if you want some advanced functionality. For me, I just want the USD Composer, but up to you. So I go no. What you want to do is get here and actually build it on your desktop side. So go ahead and grab this prompt and hit enter. Uh, this take this may take either from a couple seconds to a couple minutes. Build release succeeded. So you'll know yours is done when it comes up with this last little bit. Build release succeeded. So next thing, and we're pretty much there, is you just want to go ahead and launch the app for the first time. So go ahead and copy this code. And yeah, there's the USD Composer. Go back to your folder where you installed it. Then you're going to want to go to build, windows, release, and you're going to want to go to this one right here, which is your windows batch file. That's what you named it when you were in the installation process. So you can either of course start it from right here, or if you want to make your life a bit easier, you go send to shortcut and make yourself a desktop. Then uh, just double click it and there you go. It's back up and uh, launched. So. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. If so, we'd love to um, have you uh, like, comment, or subscribe. And thanks so much. And I hope you are able to install this pretty easily too. Awesome. Thanks, everyone.